How you doing, everybody? It's Jonathan McGee. Welcome back to more Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In the last one, we had some interlude with Bowser and Peach. In this episode, we now know we have to go see Don Pianto to see if he can help us get on the Exit Express. Before we do that, though, uh, now that we have... There are some new areas open to us, so I'm going to go ahead and do those first. The first one... Sorry, I felt a sneeze coming out. Oh god. <coughs> uh, sorry about that. The, sorry, <laughs> sorry, Bobby. <laughs> Not mean to press X there. We can now sail down here. And we can get to this chest over here. In this chest. Double dip. During battle, use two items in one turn. Pretty helpful there. I don't believe there's anything over this way. No. Let's just head on back. And next, we are want to go and go. Want to go? Underneath the port. Because there are some places Bobby can help us get to now. He can. Well, I was about to say he can blow this up, but apparently not. This will open this pipe to us. And we can now see this guy. Hee 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 hee, welcome to Chet Ripper's Adjustment House. This is where you come to adjust your abilities or your partner's ranks. If you want some adjustments done, talk to me from the other side of the table. Hee, you come to my adjustment house, to give me partner's ranks, then I can adjust those things for a low, low price of 39 coins. So, who needs some adjustment? Doing this, if you pick something, you level up. Basically, uh, every time you level up, if they want to show up, I chose to level up HP, FP, or BP. If you if you spend the, the coins, you can change uh, increase. If I chose to increase BP, I can then choose to lower it in exchange for something else. I guess the same with partner. If you chose to upgrade a partner, you can then you know, add it to someone else. It can be helpful if you chose something you've regretted doing, or if you chose something that you thought you need at the moment, or but if you but you don't think you need now. It can be helpful for that, but I'm not gonna be using it. Then over here, we can have Bobby blow this up, and we can now have much faster access this time over here. Uh, while I'm here, I'm gonna see about being stoppy. Uh, badges. Uh, I'll take Happy Heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'll take Power Plus P. That's, that's all I'll take for now. I don't believe there's anything else over here I can do right now. But I just want to show this off. But there's one more thing we're going to have Bobby take care of. Well, I, that, that I can recall, anyway. And it's back up top. Okay, that was good. Fame script there. Back on the west side of Rockport. Actually, very near where we're going. Okay, there's a ding going on. I, <laughs> I don't. I hear a ding. I don't know if you hear it. 
I think that's the washing machine. I had... Okay. Anyway, back. I don't mind slow down now. Okay. I'd probably blow this up. And go back here. And Shine Sprite. Is that actually enough to get me another... It is. I can upgrade another party member now. <laughs> I guess I'll go do that. Quickly. Because... Whatever thing we're going to do before we progress the story, is you can probably guess it. <laughs> progress. There sh I believe there should be more requests on the board now. There usually is uh, between chapters. That's not where I want to go. <laughs> Hello, Melon. I'm back. I have another shine sprite. Let's upgrade... Let's have a flick. Yes, you shall. Chazubi. Chazubi. Then you may go. And now let's go check on the request, shall we? This is the wrong boss. <laughs> this is the wrong place. Wrong place, I did not mean to come here. Wahoo! Open up, please. So now we got Eve, Tiller's person, and Goom Goom, looking for a gal. I want you to meet and speak to someone for me. I'll tell you all about it at my house in Twilight Town. Yep. Do I do it right? I will. So. Oh my, you said that my trouble request? Well, I saw the talk about it the children. Can we step outside? I need you to help me meet someone. His name is Podley, my former love. We had the same dream, to be stars of the musical stage. We shared our dreams and we shared a wonderful love for a time. In that cramped little apartment, we huddled together, poor but happy. But when I finally got a part in Roach and Play as the leading lady, Polly left me. He left a quickly squalled note and said only this. My dear, I would only damn your bright future. Farewell. Oh, Polly, why? My dream was always to be with you, not to be a star that shines alone. I wanted only to shine with him. Success was nothing without him. I left the production while I was in rehearsal. I forgot about Podley and my dreams. I got married and lived the life of a housewife, happy in its quiet comforts. And now, I'm surrounded by beautiful children. My happiness is so complete now that I have forgotten about those days. But then I heard a rumor that Polly was running around running a Chocola ship in Rogueport. Could you please tell him that I would like to see her again? Tell him that, that Pure Hearted Eve has not forgotten her first love. Yes, Pure Hearted Eve was my stage name. Please meet with Polly and ask him how he feels about me. Please, Mario. So we actually met Polly not long ago. So let's go see here. No, not you. I didn't want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. Welcome to Polly's Place. The intersection of human lives and drama, if you will. What's that you say? Hmm? What is it, Mario? Tell me. You look so serious. What? Eve? I know no such person. But perhaps you could tell us Eve person something. Tell her, live in the moment. Is that all you needed? Because I'm a little busy. Well, we told him. Wow. 
Have you met with Polly? Really? What did he say? So Polly has forgotten about me. <laughs> That's fine. I guess I was just feeling nostalgic. I'll probably forget about it. You know, I have these little ones to think of, so I have plenty to keep my mind busy. Oh, we're having a feast tonight, kids. I have special dinners from Zesty's shop. Mario, you have one too. Oh, Mario, inventory is f Oh. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mario. You breathe new life into this old girl's heart. No, I, I want to clear up my inventory because I want that. I wish I could have tossed this, but I can't. I want to toss this. Mini or meal. Get rid of that. Don't want it. You can have it. Anyway, there's one more request we gotta do. Goom Goom, looking for a gal. I'm pretty happy living on here in Kill Hall Key, but there's one thing I miss. I need a girlfriend. Please, come listen to my quest. I'm in the star room deep in the cave of... of Kill Hall Key. Wanna take on Goom Goom's trouble? Do it and do it right. The star room deep in the hall of... cave of Kill Hall Key. Is that what I think it is? Anyway, I'll see you guys there. Yeah. Hey, thanks for taking me on my trouble and all the way out here, too. I know it's far. I came out here to enjoy island life, but now that I'm here, I just feel lonely. There's no other date. I mean, no one. I'm chatting up sea turtles here. So all I need you to do is just be a nice girl. That's it. A girl, okay? Because I think it would be younger than me and pretty not drop dead hot. Yeah, a cute little Goomba guy would be perfect. Please help me, please. How's this? Hey, how's it going? Did you happen to find a cute girl for? Whoa, yeah, whoa, yeah. She's cute, really cute. And that ponytail, man. Perfect slam dunk man. Yes, slam dunk. This may be a bit soon, but I have to confess my love to this girl. Uh, uh, Ty, do you believe in love for sight angel? Because you know, I do, and... What are you trying to say? Just spit it out. I love you. I think I have loved you since before I was born. Please, go out with me. Um, ooh, jeepers. This is awkward. I, um, I'm going on Mario. Honest, I'm sorry. You're really cute, though. What? You have a boyfriend? Man, I've had enough of this. Peace. Yikes, I feel like I did something totally brutal. Well, Mayo, why don't you take this as a reward for dealing with that guy? Um, you're getting twisting in the moment. Why don't you take a carry inventory and pick it up? Now let's get moving. You solved the trouble. Huh. You got a couple's cake. Food that slowly refills HP, you can't eat it alone. I don't even have this. <laughs> oh, bye. Okay, anyway, back to Wilkwood. I have to go the long way. What? What? Why did I. Huh? Why did I gain a FP for that? Huh? Um. What? Okay. Guess I got a free FP. All right. Now we're gonna go go see Don Piante again. We've done everything we can do as of right now. So, what? Where your desk go? This is the princess. Good. Oh, poor boss. 
The big man's been sick with loneliness ever since his daughter skedaddled. Underboss Frankie is gone. The boss is in shambles. What's a syndicate to do? That scruffy gang of punk thieves is stealing jobs from us right and left. If hey, enough about us, oh, stupid pompousa, what can we do for yous? What? Tickets for the ritziest train around or for the XS Express? Whoa, you want tickets for that rolling ring ding? Ooh, ain't nothing we can do about that. Yeah, us giving out tickets? That's rich. You gotta talk to the boss for that. Francesca. I just can't sing the boss like this. If we just knew, if we just knew where those newlyweds was, we could take the boss to see him. You mean us pianos, Frankie and Francesca? They were on Kill Hall Key. Well, what's on the... Who's on the what now? What did you just say? Repeat that. You know where the young Miss Pianta is at? Really? No lie? I swear if you view a line, I will turn you to face, so help me. Well, that's where she is. Why don't you bring her back here, huh? Be a pal. We go ourselves, but we can't leave the boss unprotected, you get me? Yeah, you bring us young Miss Francesca. And we'll do what we can to get your train tickets. You got a deal or what? Or what? Deal. See, now that's better. I knew once you understood our predicament, you couldn't refuse. Don't screw this up. We were just on Kill Hockey, okay, but now we're going back again. I'll see you guys there. And all the way out here. Oh, hey, it's Mayo. How you been, dear pal? We do, we do something for you? What? The boss is sick? Oh, poor daddy. Oh, no. At a time like this. You see, I, I just dropped the wedding ring Frankie gave me around here. I can't possibly leave until I find that ring, otherwise something may eat it. It must be somewhere between here and that skull rock. Listen for a sec, my fuzzy little coconut. Shouldn't we forget about that ring for now and check on the boss? How can you say that, Frankie? That ring was a symbol of our love. We have to find it. We have to. Or maybe you don't love me anymore, is that it? Of course I love you, my little bacon burger. Now your sweet talk now. You're gonna have to say you love me 100 times. 100 times? If you love me, you have to say it, Frankie. Oh, come on now, babe. Of course I love you, my little short stack. Now please, let's go. No, you have to say it 99 more times, Frankie. Aw, oh, fine, you crazy dame. I love you. 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 I'm not actually gonna say this 100 times. I thought about it, but I'm not going to do it. Just. Love you, love you, love, 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 love you, love you, love you, love you. It sounds like he's not even moving. I'm mashing as fast as I can. I wish I could just hold the button, but no, you can't do that. You cannot just hold it. I love you. I love you. There I said it. Oh, Frankie, baby, you're such a silly Billy. He, he, he. Now my little cream puff, let's buy that ring right away. What do you say? Wow, you think he's got to be all right looking for that ring on their own? Listen, Maya, we better play it safe and help him, don't you think? Uh, here we gotta. Hoping I don't run into, of course I'm going to. I don't know why I'm acting like I'm not. I walked right into him. You got a wedding ring, a pricey ring, the symbol of Frankie and Francesca's love. We were looking in the clip. I can't. Why can't I just. Why? Why? Uh... Ah, that's it. That's my thing. You found it. Frankie, now we can go home to daddy. We sure can, my little cheese and cracker. Let's go. Well, so anyway, we'll be down at the dock. Please hurry back, please. I don't know, I, I stopped talking for a second, I don't, I felt, thought I was going to cut this out, but then I realized, no, no, I shouldn't do that yet. Not quite yet. Okay, Mario, I think we're ready, pal. Yeah, we are. Let's go back to Rogueport. Oh, Daddy, please hang on until we get there. 
turn the bug part amiibo? Yes. Can stop the amiibos too, bug part. Are you going to escape this animation? We have to go see Danny immediately. You got it, Francesca. Hang on! No! How do you run faster than a Yoshi? Okay, we're here. Daddy, 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 wake up, open your eyes. Boss. Francesca. Daddy. Boss. Oh my little Francesca, you came back for me. And you too, Frankie. Of course we did, daddy. As soon as we heard you were ill, we dropped everything and rushed back. Francesca, thank you. I was wrong. I was a stubborn old man. Forgive me. I know I may regret saying this, but I don't want the two of you to stay here. So I want the two of you to stay here with me. I can't bear to be away from you two crazy kids. I'm an old man now. I need peace. I guess the time has come for me to stop being so selfish, causing everyone trouble. Looks like even the Don Pian even Don Pianta, the Don of Untimely Death, can escape the old age. Time has come, everyone. I'm gonna retire. <laughs> no, it's time. I mean it. I, I'm, and I want you to be my successor, Frankie. What do you say, Frankie? As of today, you are the new head of the Pianta Syndicate. What? But boss you still got it in you? You're a spring chicken. You don't gotta do this. And I mean, me, boss? No, you're the one, Frankie. I've been thinking that for a long time now. You're just fine, kid. I got a feeling about you. A good one. And I want you to take care of... I want you to take care of Francesca and the rest of the syndicate the way I did. Boss! You, Mario. Looks like you've done yet another favor for me, kid. Yeah. Oh, about that, boss. Oh, this is gonna be just beautiful. I know it. What did you guys do? Well, uh, we kind of promised him something, boss. We told him we gave him a ticket for the Excess Express if he brought your daughter. Whoa, is that all? Give me a word for a second. Come on over here, Mario. How many you want? One, two, ten? Help yourself. You got a train ticket. Ticket for the Ritzy train to Poshy Heights. You, whoa. You came back at any time you like. How about that? Oh, now that I've retired, I'm gonna get out of here. Daddy! Boss! You're the boss now, Frankie. You got that? You, the boss. You do good now, Frankie. Um. Frankie, we got lots of work to do, and don't worry, I'll keep you in line. Sweet Bean, come on. Knock it off with the pet name nonsense, will you? Call me Francesca. Huh? F -f 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 Francesca? Yes, or Miss Boss. T. Underboss. Uh, uh, I mean, Boss. You got our loyalty. We'll be, uh, we'll be by your side whenever you need us, Boss. Thank you so much, Mario, for everything. You're welcome here anytime. You're like a brother to me. You ain't bad, kiddo. Yeah, you ever think about joining up the Syndicate? It's the life, kid. Um, I might have to pass on that. Anyway, we now have the tickets to the X Express. So next time, we're gonna be taking it. I'm in is up here. I honestly don't know how long this episode's gonna be. There's a lot coming out. Um, yes, 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 we can go to Pasha Heights. Yes, that six whistle sounds as good as ours. <laughs> I've heard that, my uglies. What? So the six crystal stars in Pasha Heights, is it? That's a rather nice piece of information. Thanks ever so. 
Hey, you're that Beldum. Not only this will be I finally did a view in that homely trait of Vivian. But something tells me that trying that alone might be unwise. So you live for now. Instead, I'll just beat you to partial heights and get that crystal star before you do. Mwee Whoa, that's not a bad. We gotta get to Pashi Heights before that witch. Let's make tracks for Vogue Park Station. Like I said, we'll do that next time. I honestly don't know how long this episode will be. Because I am cutting a lot. But I, and I honestly don't feel like I did too much this episode. But I am going to need to call it here. So, anyways, next time, we're taking the train. See you guys then.